Just a few hours after midnight, Israeli warplanes struck this warehouse in the town of Tool, just about 13 miles north of the Israeli border. Now, we spoke to the owner of this warehouse, uh, who says that it's a reputable company that deals in steel and other construction uh, materials. Israel, for its part, claims that this was being used as a facility to store weapons by Hezbollah. Now, in this strike that took place in the early hours of the day, 10 people were killed, Syrian nationals, among them a guard, his wife and two small children. In addition, among the injured are one Lebanese national and one Sudanese national. Now, this is very much within the area that Israeli warplanes and drones operate. In fact, you can barely hear overhead the buzz of a drone, uh, apparently something that happens all the time in this area. Now, in response to this strike, Hezbollah fired what they said were a volley of Katusha rockets at an Israeli community on the other side of the border. This is really part of the daily back and forth, deadly fire exchanges of fire between the two sides. Now, everybody, of course, is anticipating that Hezbollah will eventually respond to the strike in Beirut in late July that killed a senior Hezbollah commander, but and he, the head of Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah, has made it clear that that strike, that response, a major response is coming. It hasn't come yet, but nonetheless, as everybody waits for that strike to happen, this sort of incident is unfortunately quite frequent, although in terms of the death toll, this is one of the deadliest Israeli strikes that has happened since this war began. I'm Ben Wiedemann, CNN, reporting from southern Lebanon.